What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be attempting the Cochlear challenge. How many hours do you put in this guy was a day? <sighs> That's a good question. I'm not gonna lie. I think on average where he's like 0.01. Probably. Anyway, uh this guy has strength, so this is gonna be a really good start. Oh, it actually is a good start. Let's go. Uh, so the Cochlear challenge basically is you have to win a game with every single kit, but you can't lose and you have to go in order. You also can't skip any maps or Nick or anything like that. So it's sort of just like Raw Dog and Sky Wars. Uh, I also have, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm not really, <laughs> I'm so, I'm not locked in at all. I mentioned in my last video that I've been like doing this challenge just to kind of make the game a bit more fun for myself. And it's really worked because like, I don't know, I don't expect to ever beat this challenge, but it just makes the game a bit more different you know i think that's the best way to describe it it's just it just makes the game different it, it mixes things up a little bit and to me that is a lot more enjoyable so i hope you enjoy this uh, mining gameplay right now so i'm going default kit for the first round and then every game i'm gonna go up to the next kit i think the furthest that i've actually made it on this challenge was like enchanter or something which isn't very far like it was an impressive win streak you know like when you think about it but it's still not very far in like the grand scheme of things when you look at how many kits there actually is i have the feeling i'm not gonna kill this guy but I'm gonna give it a go. Oh, he's laggy. He's so laggy. <laughs> I can't even hit him. <laughs> that's it. That's huge. Oh no, he survived. Oh, that's not good. Come on, please. Let's go. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. So yeah, you can't skip any queues. So like if you queue a map like Elven, that just isn't good. Then you have to play it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got to Enchant before, which is the 11th one. So I had like a 10 win streak before that, which is pretty impressive. Like that's that's pretty good. And losing with Enchanter is kind of sad because Enchanter is like not a bad kit. I'm getting rushed right now. Like there are a lot harder kits to, to, to win with. And uh, so yeah, losing with Enchanter was pretty tragic. Okay, we did get one kill there though. So that's pretty good. I've been feeling really motivated to just record Skywars content recently because even though I'm not like super active these days, I don't know, like I've seen like Tabor return to making Skywars videos, which is just so cool to see. Like, whoa, he does a lot of damage. Let me get a few shots in here. I used to love Tabor's content when I was uh, back in like 2016, 17. So it is just, it's just so cool to see something like that return to the game. And he actually like has fun as well, even though the game is so not fun these days. Oh, he messed up. He messed up. I'm really undergeared, actually. Like, I am, I'm, like, full leather, pretty much. These games are really sweaty, though. But I feel like that's just every Skywars game right now. Like, I've heard a game earlier where, like, everybody was, like, three-quarters diamond by the end. All right, I'm gonna enchant my sword here. Okay, sharp one. That's not very good. Probably should have went with level two. And tried to get, like, a sharp two, because I've got a, I've got an anvil as well. But, oh, well. He's been building with sponge. Oh, I think Salmon gets sponge, you know. I forgot about that. Okay, I didn't hear him coming up at all. That's, uh, that's kind of scary. Okay, I think we can probably get three chests each here. All right, I got a fire sword. He just said he got trash loot, so I'm really interested to see what I get here. He doesn't have a top chest, which is good. I didn't get very good stuff myself. I really wish I had uh, um, some XP here. Is there any in these chests? No, no XP at all. I'm, <laughs> I'm like completely broke right now. I'm gonna just loot islands because like I'm literally full leather pretty much. Like anything I can get from these islands is gonna be better than what I have right now. We got some XP there as well, so I'm gonna make a fire one, sharp one, sword. There's still four people left. Okay, someone just died, but still, how is there so many people left? It's only second refill. I actually need to eat. <laughs> oh, someone else just died as well. I think, unless you pulled. Oh, I just won. What? All right. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, the second kit is Archaeologist. Getting a new PB on this challenge is like the nicest feeling though. It's like getting a new PB on like fucking bench press or something. It feels so good. Okay, we got pretty good armor and Archaeologist is a good kit anyway, so I'm... Pretty confident about this game here. Um, okay, I thought they were gonna push me. That's annoying. I could have probably got that guy. Didn't matter. This guy was just gonna ignore me, but that's fine. So yeah, they're just salmon. So salmon gets sponge and raw salmon now. That's interesting. They really nerfed that kit to the ground, man. I wasn't too active during that whole period where they were doing the kit balances. I was there for the first one, and then after that, I don't really know what happened. So it's interesting to just see these kits. Like I just see sponge just on the ground somewhere. Like what's that doing there? I wonder if this could actually be used like tactically on like certain maps like Overfall or something where there's a lot of water. What the- Alright, back to default kit. This guy's baseball player. Okay. Oh, he's dead? Wait, I want that! <gasps> That's actually huge! Oh shit. Get me out of here. Go away, go away! 
Please. Oh my god. <laughs> How am I alive? <laughs> that was actually so clutch getting that KB sword. Oh no. Oh my god. I didn't see that guy. That was terrifying. Okay. I think I'm fine. Oh, he's pushing. I'm gonna gap up. If I can. Wait, block yourself. Gap up. Take a fire sword, KB sword. Alright. Um, are we gonna get backstabbed? That's the question. There's a guy over there. I think he's going the other way, though. Wouldn't mind your leggings. There we go. Closer than I would have liked, but that's fine. Alright, so I don't have a chest plate. This guy does. And he's end lords. He's probably gonna have pearls. Yeah. Just like that. Hopefully, that was his last one, though. If he has another pearl, that's, that's pretty terrifying. I'm gonna try and get some height here, actually, because if he does... I want to be able to just, like, knock him off sort of thing. I have no healing as well, which is really bad. If I can keep distance, I can, like, see the pearl coming and, like, try and run so he can't hit me. I would like to get island so I can get some, um, like, a chest blitz, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get the chance. If he has another pearl and he pearls me while I'm on an island, then it's over. We're having a staring contest right now. All right, it's refill in 13 seconds. I'm gonna go get a chest. Haven't blinked IRL yet. <laughs> okay, we got a chest plate. Okay, this is good, this is good. I would like like a pearl or something, or, or, or some gaps or something like that. Let's see if we can get one of those from this chest. Okay, we got a pearl, that's good. I, actually, I wanna get rid of the skeleton, you're gonna be really annoying. All right, come on. Let's fight, let's fight. How is there another one? Okay, that was an interesting pull. It was a good fight though, good fight. Alright, Archaeologist. I'm not gonna lie, I do normally do better <laughs> than I have done so far when I do this challenge. I normally get it to at least like Armorsmith or something, but either way, like even when I'm losing like this, it is, uh, it actually still makes the game a lot more fun and more enjoyable to play. Rather than trying to stick to like metas and play the game how it's like supposed to be played and how everybody plays it, you know? Cause that just gets so boring. Especially when you've played so much of the game in your life. <laughs> like I have. We got an ecologist here. Getting all these chests. So I'm gonna just kill him real quick. There we go. I'm gonna get backstabbed, but... Oh, it's the guy from last game. Okay, I don't wanna get hit by you, actually. Um, is that better? I don't actually know if that's better. Oh, you're... You're strong. I don't like you at all. What? Move! Move! <laughs> no, why? <laughs> why? That's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, okay, last try. How am I losing an archaeologist? I've made this kit for like months. Oh, you would be a really good kill. Oh, you're gonna fall. No, you're not. You'd also be a pretty good kill, to be fair. Nice, okay. We're getting rushed. He's dead, okay, nice. That was an interesting strategy for him. I think he just thought I wasn't expecting it, but I was. Okay, there's a guy down here. He's pretty low. He also has a chest plate, so it should be an easy kill. Nice. He wasn't even fighting back. Okay, there's two people left. They're both there. They're going to fight, probably. And I'm going to clean. GG. All right, archaeologists. Hopefully, we can actually win this and get past the second kit in the challenge. I totally recommend trying out this challenge, though, especially if you're getting kind of tired of the game or you haven't really played the game in a while and you want a reason to get back into it. As long as you don't care too much about your stats, because realistically, you know, it's not an easy challenge. You're subjecting yourself to play kits that aren't very viable when it comes to winning games. And the only way to really win consistently is to, like, really, like, try, you know, like, mine every game and stuff like that, which, you know, is, is, is the way to do it if you really want to get to the end of the challenge, but... I'm not really gonna do that because I don't really enjoy it. As long as you don't take stats and ratios too seriously, which I feel like a lot of people don't nowadays. I mean, people, okay, a lot of people do, and that's why the game is so sweaty, but like at the same time, I think a lot of people have realized that it's so difficult to win as consistently as you used to be able to, like back in like lockdown 2020, 2021, and now people don't care as much anymore. At least, at least that's how it is for me. Like, I used to care about ratios back in the day. Like, every time I did a session, I wanted, like, a two-win loss at least. And if I got lower than that, I was, like, kind of sad because, like, I felt like I should have done better. But it was also really satisfying to, like, grind for ratios, you know? Wait, this is the last guy here. Let's get this dub. Come on, come on, come on. Holy shit, that was way too close. <laughs> All right, armor, run to the third kit. Armor is also a pretty decent kit in the game. So realistically, it shouldn't be too difficult to win with this. 
the first kit in the challenge being default kit is is probably like one of the hardest ones realistically because you just get nothing to work with especially in normal mode it's not much better in insane but at least the tools are like oh that guy left wait no i can't really strength i don't have time to strength okay at least in insane like the tools are actually like good tools but in normal they're just like wood not that the tools are really useful in insane anyway you know but this guy's really stacked which uh isn't great yeah, it's probably a time warp. Oh, wait, I just can't aim and I'm dead. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. All right, that was the Kokuya challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please try the challenge yourself and let me know how you do. It'd be really cool to see somebody beat this challenge in 2024. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be really cool to see someone try. If you made it this far, comment bench press. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.